All right, we are recording. Um, this video is going to show you how to access your lab document from an iPad, thanks to uh, your fellow classmate, Raven White. So, um, Raven, we can see your screen and it is recording. So I guess if you can go ahead and show us what you did, you're on your iPad, you're looking at the Google Classroom. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is go to the assignment and I can see it right there, right? New assignment lab one, there you go. So that's the instructions that are on there. And the next thing you need to do is actually open up the document itself. And when you scroll down to do that, right? Is that what you just did? I hit the little arrow. Okay. You hit the little arrow and there it is. You can see there's three options. There's Raven White Lab 1. There's Add Attachment. There's Turn It In. So you're going to want that top option. In her case, it says Raven White because that's her name. And there it is. And that pulls up the document. Um, let's see. So then, yeah, you'll just fill it out. Now, what I'm not sure on how to do it on an iPad is once you're done or as you're working on it, I'm not sure how you share it with me. Do you see a share button anywhere on there? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Might as well go ahead and do that now since we're recording. Oh, shoot. And then which one would I hit? No, it won't be like that. So what you're looking at is how to share it, like really sh share it through Apple, which is like, you know, share it via text or something. Well, what we yeah. need is how to share it via Google Docs. Um, Let's see. What about that button all the way on the top right? What is that with a little arrow going that way? Open with. Open with. Yeah, maybe oh, that's it. Open with Google Docs. Let's see if that works. And if it doesn't, then this might just tell us that we that you can't do it. Well, on yeah, I don't have Google Docs. Let me know about that. Yeah. So this is good. I'm glad we're recording this. So you can view this with your iPad, which will be helpful. You know, like maybe you can bring your iPad to actual class or to lab when you're doing the experiment. You can view it and all that. But to submit it, you'll actually need Google Docs. Okay. Um, and I guess you'll want you if you, yeah, well, anyway, what should happen when you open it in Google Docs is there should be a button. Yeah, there we go. So see at the top right, there's a little person icon with a plus next to it? Yeah. Yeah, if you click that, and then there we go, and then type in my name, or it looks like I'm already down there, that little... Um, mm -hmm. Oh, and then I have... Oh, well, and I'm already an editor. Good. So it looks like it's automatic. But just in case, for anybody who's watching this video, make sure you do that. Make sure I am an editor um, before you get to work. So yeah, that's how you do it. And since I have you on here anyway, I might as well let you know. The earlier you start working on this, the better, because you know it's not due until Sunday. So if you go in there and start answering questions... I can see that and I can give you feedback. So if you're wrong, I can say, no, that's not right. You know, I might nudge you in the right direction and you'll have time to fix it. As long as it's before the due date, you know, you can fix any mistakes. So again, the earlier, the better. If you wait until the end and then I grade it after it's due, then your grade's just your grade. So yeah. So that answer all your questions? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, my pleasure. Thank you for letting me record this. And again, like I said, the one point of independent work, extra credit for doing that uh, to claim it. Just send me an email because I like to have a paper trail and send me an email and say, hey, I helped you record that video. Um, just a reminder. Okay, I'll do it after my next, my next class. Great. All right. Well, um, if you need me, I'm here.